How are we doing, kiddos? Yeah, we got Jayla. There we go. Everything working, kiddo? With your computer now? Everything we're working with your computer now, Jayla? Yes. Sweet. All righty. Cool, cool. Glad to have you. Um, All right, well, it's 9.52. I'm going to get us rolling so we can get through our agenda today um, because the uh, reward for getting through our agenda today means we get to start our project the very next class on Tuesday, next time I have you guys. So I um, see here. I'm admitting some more people, uh, but let's see here. Um, Vanessa, I believe you're here. Yep. Okay. Um, and then, uh, oh, Vanessa, please tell your sister I said hi. And I hope that high school is going well for her. Um, so, um, let's see here. Uh, Christiana, I believe you're in here. Yep. There we go. Um, Jayla, you here? Oh, well, duh, I'll just talk to you. Um, Emery, are you here? No. Um, Ismeen, are you here, kiddo? Uh, um, Arlando. No, okay. Uh, JD. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all righty. And JD, did you get my message? I messaged you back um, about the mutt stuff. All right, I'll check. Okay. Um, and then um, Madeline. Uh, 
Okay, um, Jordan, uh, Nevea, yep, uh, Jacob's absent, he, he told me, um, then Eric, yep, okay, Michael, yep, uh, Miles, yep, uh, Miliano, Nope. Uh, Jabari. Nope. Um, Damarion. Nope. Um, Mauricio. Nope. Uh, Dylan. You are here. Yep. Um, uh, Ontario. Nope. Um, Jonathan. Yes. Um, Carter. Nope. Uh, Leo. Yep. Theodore. Yep. Kanjaya, nope. And then O'Neill, yes. Okay, so got that done. Um, all right, so reminder real quick. Okay, what are those first two things we do? Someone just shouted out. Very first thing you guys could have done while I was doing attendance. What was that? Looks like Jordan got lost in the woods. It's amazing that there's Wi-Fi in the woods. I, um, <laughs> uh, it is a good, oh yeah, it is a good day to do class outside. So um, let's hear. So um, very first thing is read that daily news. Okay, so sharing my screen with you guys. Again, to get to that, we go to the last slide, double check to make sure the date is today's date, eight seven, and that is true. So it says, students will be able to reflect over the iceberg article and get comfortable with Canvas routines. Um, and then it says, hey, DOS kiddos, today we're going to finish up our iceberg reflection. Once we are done with that, we are going to dive into how Canvas will be utilized for this class. My hope is we get through all of this so that we can begin our first project next week. I'm looking forward to getting through today's agenda with you. Thanks, Mr. Doss. Um, and then uh, it says for the agenda, DET day three, um, reflection uh, is part for our reflection part two because we had our um, discussion. Um, briefly about um, what we read and then intro to canvas routines and like i said if we get through this then we can start our project um, next week now um, i want to remind everybody whoever signed up for remind 101 i sent a message out uh, that if you can get like index cards like little note cards that you put like vocab turns on terms on and like flip them. If you can get your hands on those over the weekend and maybe some masking tape or scotch tape, whatever you prefer, um, the uh, um, you'll be able to do this project from home. Okay, so I sent a message out. So if you signed up for Remind 101, you would have gotten that message. Um, or if your parents signed up for it, they would have gotten that message. Uh, but if you're not signed up, this is me telling you that if you to maybe ask uh, whoever is at home if they could if you don't have this stuff at home, maybe they could um, run to CVS. I, I, they'll have that at CVS or um, the store, uh, Walmart or whatnot. They'll uh, uh, they'll definitely have that. And so um, you are, um, I think you guys would prefer to be able to 
do it yourselves, that would be that would make it a lot more fun instead of just watching me do it. And so I uh, um, I want to be able to let everybody participate if they can. So um, that being said, um, that's just my reminder. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys go ahead then and do your DET. Um, just so you know, your DET, okay? It's day three, okay? Eight, seven. So when you click here, okay? Just so you guys know the directions, it says, you're gonna use the following example of a mudded document to give the correct score the individual would have scored on each of the six criteria for mudding an article. So what that means is if you, you click here, okay, you're gonna see an example that I made of, let's see here, a mudded article, okay? So um, if you, let me know if you can't see the comments, because if not, then I'll just keep this shared image up. But um, you're gonna go here and then question one says, look at the document, what score would you give them for numbering the paragraphs? And so here's the rubric, it explains the scoring, and then you decide what you think they would have gotten or what I would have gotten on this for numbering the paragraphs. Okay, and then the second part is what grade or what score would you have given them for identifying key terms? So you look at this, okay, based on what I did for key terms, what score do you think I should have gotten for that part of the grade? Okay, and so on and so forth until you do all six, look at all six parts. Does that make sense? If not, speak now or forever hold your peace sort of a thing, because I'm gonna, I guess I can like kind of leave. I got a question about the project. I wasn't really paying attention. Can you go over what we're doing again? Oh, for the project for next week, I was just saying that if you signed up for Remind 101, you would have gotten my alert. But for those who um, haven't signed up for it yet, um, which reminder, today's the last day for you to sign up and get a grade for it. So um, the uh, for the project, if you can get, um, you're probably some, maybe you have it at home uh, just because it's like a general school supply. But if you have like note cards, like index cards, um, those uh, try and get your hand on a pack of those. And then also, if you can, like some tape if you don't have that at home already, some masking tape or uh, scotch tape. Okay. Because you'll just, I'll, you'll find out why you need that stuff, but that's the stuff you need for your um, first project. Sound good? Yeah, thank you. Hey, no problem. Okay, so um, I'm gonna let everybody go ahead and get to work on there. Oops. But, um, The, uh, so I will let you guys get to work on that DET. When you guys pull up the DET, are you able to see my comments? You're not able to see my comments on your document, the one you click to open it. When you click here, does it show my comments on it? It doesn't. Anyone see the comments? Okay, I was worried that might happen. So what I will do, okay. So um, I'm going to, let's see here. Okay, so this is page one.
Mr. Doss, can you put the um grading key in the chat because I forgot um what the purple and the red and stuff means. Um, red, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Um, All right, so I'm gonna go back to that quiz. I'm gonna edit it there. Um, Okay, so if you refresh your quiz, um, I just put screenshots of the article and maybe that is better. So see if that works for you. Can you see the screenshots then? You can, okay. So, and then for the chat, so I apologize for that. And if if you run out of time, because of that, I will extend your time. I'll let you take it again. Um, oops. Mr. Doss, you can just put the, um, your paragraph with the comments on your screen and we can get it like that. So we can like have it, have, we can still look on our screen, but we just need your name for the comments. All right, and that's fine too. I just didn't know since you guys would all be going like different paces, like I'd be like scrolling and then you'd be like, wait, wait, wait. So um, let's see if I can, let's see here. Maybe I can get both pages on. Well, I follow, so I don't need it. You, you got it? okay. I um, let's see here. If I view, it. could I like get two pages? View.
So, Mr. Dawson, when you was doing this, did you already identify the key term, or was they already both? Um, I identified them. And so then I bolded them. Here, you know, I'm gonna. It just said time's up. Submitting results in three, two, one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you. I'll give you another attempt at it. Um, let's see here. Same thing happened. Um, same thing. Happened. Um, here is. Let's see. All right, Nevaeh, now go back and click try again and it should work for you. Anyone else get kicked out before they were finished because of the time? I'm going to give people about five more minutes who are retaking. Um, so
Is there anyone still working? No. Let's see here. Neve, are you still working, kiddo? Yes. Okay. I'll let you finish up. All right, I'll let you finish too, JD and Leo. I'll check again and see if you guys are done. Okay, we have finished. Looks like everyone's finished. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Let's see here. Okay, so I wanna go over this because um, you guys in a bit, in case you haven't seen it, uh, you can check to see how you did. I graded everybody who submitted it yesterday or by yesterday at least, um, whoever, submitted it by yesterday, I graded yours. That's what I spent time at school yesterday doing was grading everybody's uh, mudding. Um, and so if you wanna know how you did, you can check your grades on there. Uh, not on Skyward, I haven't posted on Skyward yet because I want um, you to uh, be able to go back and make the changes and resubmit it. I uh, only I'm going to do this on the first one because I get it. You're learning how to do this. Um, 
but the uh, in the future I won't let you guys redo it. Okay. So, um, but scores were kind of rough, so I want people to be able to redo it, and that's why I made this the DET so that you guys can see an example and see how I score and grade it. Okay. So. Um, the first question, it said, looking at the document, what score would you give them for numbering the paragraphs? Okay, and here's the rubric. It says you get three points if the student correctly numbered the paragraphs, no points if they didn't number the paragraphs. So that one's quick and easy. You look over, and most people did this, okay? So you look over in the comments, did they number them? Yep, because it goes one all the way through eight, and there are eight paragraphs. So that would be a three, okay? Then it says, using the same document, what score would you give them for identifying key terms? So identifying key terms, you get five points if you identify the key terms, as well as explain why they're key terms or explain their importance. You only get partial credit, you get three out of five if you just bold the terms, but you don't comment on why. And then uh, you get one point um, if you bold terms, but they weren't actually important terms, okay? If you just bolded a random word, okay? So, going here, let's see here. Um, looks like I bolded iceberg. Did I comment on iceberg? Um, I don't see a comment on iceberg. Okay, um, and then uh, let's see here. Um, and I didn't count, I didn't bold anything else. So I would have to give that a three because all I did was bold it. I didn't identify why it was bolded. So I only get a three on there. Using the same document, what score would you give them for highlighting unknown words? Okay, and that's a, th you get three for having um, unknown words highlighted. If not, then you get a zero. Well, televangelist, that was highlighted in red, so I did it, so three. Using the same document, okay, how about underlining important ideas, okay? You get five if you underline important ideas and comment on why they're important. Um, you get three points partial credit if you just underline important ideas, but you don't comment to the side why. You get one point if you just underlined random things that weren't actually important. You get zero for nothing. So let's see here. Did I underline anything? I don't see anything underlined. So that would be a big fat zero on that one. Zero for underlined. And then question five, using the same document, what score would you give them for coming up with questions and stating or stating their confusions? You get five points if you basically highlight, it says put question marks on confusing terms, but you can highlight it and then write at least two questions over the things you highlighted. So it says, our character is the sum of our, I highlighted that, and it says, um, do I have a question on there? Nope, no question. Oh, but I do have one question. It says, once a cheater, are you always considered a cheater? And that's in response to what's worse is character may begin when you're young with lying and cheating on tests. So. Is there like a partial credit? Student put question marks on confused terms and wrote a question. So that would be partial credit, that would be a three. And then using the same document, what score would you give them for stating their interests or connect or connections they made? So you get full credit if you have two thoughtful connections, partial if you just make one, one point if you, uh, only put exclamation points and that's it. And then zero if you didn't do any. So let's see here. Did I 
identify anything interesting and make a connection. I made a connection to seeing the movie, the Titanic, and I made a connection to here saying that I think a lot of leaders in today's time are guilty of overestimating their strength. So I would give myself full credit for that. And that would be, oops, wait, I got a five out of six. What did I do wrong here? Identifying key terms. I identified it, but uh, I, I didn't comment, did I? Or did my comments get deleted? Let's see here. Oh. I need to change that score. So I'm gonna do this and then adjust everybody's scores because that was wrong. I did not, all I did was bold. I didn't comment. So, <laughs> so this would just, let's see here, here, and you change that, because then if you guys got it right, it'll, that's the correct answer. Uh, there we go. There we go. So safe. All right, you guys. So your scores might have been adjusted there because I was wrong with what I posted on there. So I um, now what we're going to do is switch gears. So everybody go to their home screen real quick. And then to get to the last part of our reflection of this thing so we can move on from the article is um, click next. And then click next. Next. We watch that clip next. Okay, so this is um, the last part that we're going to do, the last bit that we're going to do. Okay, so if you get here, okay, and click on the reflection sheet. What was that? Is this on modules? Uh, you can get to it by going to modules, yes. If that would be easier for you, instead of clicking on the book each time, yes, it is on modules. I, um, so, um, and then, so when you click on this, it will send you to this sheet right here. You guys can get this done in probably seven minutes. All you have to do is answer this question. Okay, and then fill out this chart here. Okay, where you do that. So read those directions on what to do. Um, but once you're done with that, remember how to submit it. You'll click, there, there should be a submit button for you. Click submit, go to Google Drive or Google Docs, click on your document, okay? So is everybody clear on what I want you to do for the next like seven minutes or so? All right, I'll let you do that and then we can get rolling. Um, so I'll put seven minutes on that timer. On my timer, let's see here. Choose a virtual background, seven minute timer. Okay. Um, then, uh, Ismi, if you did that already, then it's totally fine. Um, then you can just submit it then. Um, 
And if you already submitted it, then you are fine. You can sit tight and do whatever you want for the next seven minutes. Um, uh, resonated means like um, kind of like it um, like hit home it kind of like uh, uh, it really meant something to you or it like kind of like oh, okay like interesting or something like something you found interesting or something like that um it was meaningful um so jordan how to get to it um if if you want a faster way what you can do is go over to modules and then we have the whole habitudes module here if you click on iceberg reflection activity, that will get you there. So, because that that module will get bigger and bigger and bigger um, as we go along, because we'll read more and more chapters. But I'm gonna get out of the camera so you can see the timer. What are we supposed to write for skills? Uh, so basically, like, what are your skills? Like, what what would you think? What would you say your skills are? Because if you remember the article, it talked about the part of the iceberg that you can see. Um, someone's leadership, that's like their skills. Because the iceberg is their leadership. So that's the part you can see is like their skills, what they're good at, things like that. And so then write their skills. Is your character, huh? So do we write their skills? 
um, wait, what, say that again. What you, yeah, you write them in that box that says skills. Yes. So you, we, we write theirs, not ours, right? No, you write yours. This is for, this is you specifically. This is going to get me to kind of get to know you a little bit more. Okay. Hey, uh, Leonardo, instead of sharing it with me, uh, submit it on Canvas. All right, is everybody done? Because technically this timer's expired because it's gone through once. We all good. All right, I'm going to check to see how many people have submitted it just to get an idea. 
Um, Grades here, so I'll tell you guys who I have it. I've received it from. I got it from Vanessa, uh, Christiana, Ismin, um, Jordan, Navea, Eric, Dylan, Ontario. Jonathan, O'Neill, and that's it. Okay. So we're gonna try and get those submitted. Um but I am um, oh, I need to close the door because my son's up. Uh, But um Okay, so um let's see here. Um gonna go ahead and move on to our next thing and then we'll be done. So um uh, the uh so um the very next thing now, the last thing that we'll do today, and then we can uh, be all set up and ready to go for our uh, first project next week is, um, let's see here, I'm gonna show you. Um, so everyone go ahead and go over to, uh, on your screen, click on modules, and then scroll down. Okay, where it says start of semester and click on the page that says SO1 activity, what is technology? Okay. You're gonna read these directions. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna submit your answers on here. Okay. Oh, Ontario, I see you already actually posted. Nice, nicely done. So you're ahead of the game. So um, the uh, and the way you post your answer and your response is you click reply. Don't put your stuff in here because that's just a search. So click where it says reply and then type your answer and then click post. Okay, but this is going to be simply you read these directions, follow these directions. I don't want to read them to you because typically what happens is then people think they remember all the directions and they don't read them. So uh, read the directions and then it tells you what to do. And I can give you guys um, the remaining time to do that and then hit next. And then I'll go over this with you. Um, and this, okay? Because this is gonna show you guys how to use your um, engineering notebooks, which they have not come in the mail yet. So we can't do a pickup form yet. So you'll have to do this stuff like on a notebook paper, but. Um, the stuff, but don't worry. This you can just post on Canvas. So I'm gonna have you guys do this. It is 10:43. Um, so do this. Kind of read the next two pages after that. That kind of explain. You don't have to do anything in your actual notebooks yet. Um, but read through it. Make sure you understand all those. Um, kind of directions and uh but i'll let you guys class is done technically in six minutes and then there's 20 minutes of office hours so you guys work until you are finished with this and then if you don't have any questions you guys can leave
All good? Because this is all the stuff we have to do before actually beginning our project on Tuesday. Mr. Das, I don't have a PLTW notebook. Yourself is muted. Um, those notebooks have not um, come in yet. The school ordered them, but they haven't come in. And when they do, 
like we'll have like a there'll be an announcement made to like um that your parents can come by and like pick it up at school um but it has an effect on it so that that's just more so i want you to read that so you can kind of like you don't have to do it yet but just to get an idea of what expectations will end up being for your uh, engineering notebook okay and we're going to use that a lot once they're in because like engineering is all drawing documenting taking notes and like writing down notes and instructions and things like that so um once uh once we get those in you'll i'll i'll make an announcement and mr pickock will make an announcement to parents okay uh, Eric, if you are done and you posted, and then um, in addition to that, you read the next two pages just to kind of um, get familiar with the expectations uh, for your notebooks and Canvas. Um, if you're done with all that, then you are good and you're welcome to leave. Can you repeat that? Um, if you if you are done with posting your like on there about technology and steam um, what steam is then um, then you've read the next two pages of that module which just kind of explained to you about um, how you're gonna fill in your engineering notebook when you get it and how to understand what things mean on canvas like, if you've done all that, then you're good and you're welcome to leave.
All right, so if you're done with all that, you guys are welcome to head out and have a wonderful weekend. And don't forget to get note cards and tape. Um, Jonathan, it starts at, um, I believe 11, I want to say 1120, um, 11:20 because this class went from 950 to 1050 and then 20 minutes of office hours. So 10. That would be 11.10 and then 10 minutes to get to your next class. So I think it's 11.20 to um, 12.30. So right. no problem, bud. Like I said, if you are, yeah, if you're done, you're welcome to leave.